Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Tab Reborn plugin. This plugin allows you to customize your tab list however you like. It's compatible with many other plugins like Permissions, Placeholder API, and Vault. It has boss bars, multi world support, animations, as well as many other features. You can find all of them on the plugin page, which I'll link in the description. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the Spigot tab and type in tab. It's the one with a similar icon to this. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page itself and upload it to the panel. As you can see, I've also got placeholder API, vault and a permissions plugin installed to show you the features. I'm using lock perms, but you can use whatever permission plugin you like. I will show you the tabs for two different accounts, which are in two different groups. One account is in a default group and one is in the owner group. First of all, there is a boss bar, as you can see, which you can customize in the configs. Of course, you can toggle it on and off with the command that you set. Right now it's slash boss bar. As the owner, when I press tab, you can see a custom header and a footer, as well as changes to the playlist. However, as a player in the default group, when pressing tab, you can see a lot more changes since that's how it's set up in the config. There are custom placeholder tags that show you different things like ranks, online players and staff, it shows the ping in the tab, a website link in the footer, and a lot of other things too. If you have different worlds, you can also set it so that different boss bars, tab lists, and player tags are shown in different worlds. So you can have specific settings for your different worlds. If you make any changes, you can type in a slash tab reload to reload the config, and type in slash tab CPU to show the usage of this plugin. Please know that sometimes you might have to re-log for the config changes to take effect on your client. You can also see more commands on the wiki, which will be linked in the description. Now let's go over some of the configs. Go into the tabs plugin folder, then we'll start off with the easiest one, which is animations.yml. In here you can add and customize different animated text that you want to show. They are formatted very simply with the animation ID, then the change interval in milliseconds and then whatever text you want. So under the server name animation, it will simply change the color of the text and cycle through different letters. In the busbar.yml, you can enable and disable boss bars, change the refresh rate and have a custom command to toggle them in game. The default bars option is the boss bar that will show if there are no pair world options set. So let's say we remove all the worlds from this list here, it will only show the default boss bar. However, if you want custom boss bars for different worlds, you need to put what the world name is and then what boss bar you want to use. If you do not do that, it will just default back to the default boss bar, which in this case it's server info boss bar. Of course here you can customize the boss bars. A thing to know is under the color bit you can have animations playing as well. In this case it cycles through different colors of the boss bar and you can change that in the animation config. In the advanced config you can enable per world playlist. You can always ignore certain worlds from this feature, meaning that whatever world is in this list will not have this feature and you will be able to see every single person on the server. You can sort players by permissions. Of course, ensure that you give the correct permission to that group or player. You can fix pet names and have primary groups enabled too. This only applies to you if you have permissions installed. The main config.yml will allow you to enable and disable the three features on the top. You're able to change the refresh rate interval on them. Here you can actually change the default header and footer. As you can see, if you want to use animations, you must follow this special format. Again, all the text animations are made in the animation config. Of course, you're able to use custom placeholders, such as the online player tag and rank tags. These can be found on the wiki. Please note that some of these tags will actually require different plugins like Vault. Then we have the tab list objective option, which can show the player's ping, the hearts, or something custom or nothing at all. Lower down is the sorting order of the tab list. You'll need to put the groups here in the list. Under this section are the specific options for different groups. For example, if you want the owner to have a different header and footer, you can put that here. If you don't want it, then of course you don't need to include it here. Only include the options you want changed from the default settings. All the options that you can use 
are in the comments just above. The same thing goes for the specific users. You can enable specific users to have different things as well. You have the vanilla below name option here. The do not move spectators option basically makes it so that whenever a player is put into spectator mode, it will not move them down to the bottom of the tab list like it usually does in vanilla Minecraft. This option here basically allows the above name and below name tags, like the health I've set for the owner group, Going lower are some per world settings, then going down are some more formatting options for some placeholders, and lower are the rank aliases. This basically overrides the actual group names and displays them however you like. Because I can't change the default group name in lot perms, I can just adjust it here so I have it shown as guest in multicolored letters. You can also disable options per world too if you wanted. This plugin is very customizable, so check out the plugin page and the wiki for more help. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.